favorite subject. So, if I could tell a little story really quick. Maybe about 12 years ago, I was crossing the border from Detroit, Why? trying to work a show with my buddy Colt Cabana. And to cut to the chase, they figured us out that we were wrestlers, and they threw us out. So for the last 12 years, every time I come to this country, no matter whether I'm entering in here, Toronto, or if I'm coming up through uh, Vancouver or Calgary, anywhere in Canada, they always throw me in immigration, they go through my stuff, they damn near strip search me. They ask me about all my tattoos, they ask me what gang I'm in, they treat me like a criminal. It's understandable. I was, I was thrown out once for trying to illegally enter your country. I, I apologize. But a few months ago, I was going through customs. The guy in the booth looked at me and he looked at the computer. And I knew what he was going to ask me. He was going to ask me if I've ever been thrown out before. My answer was always an honest yes. But he said, you've been coming over here for 10, 12 years. Do they always harass you when you come through? And I said, yes, sir, they do. So this, this young man took it upon himself to write a letter to his superior. That was you, thank you. Thank you, buddy, I appreciate it. It wasn't, it wasn't you, I said young man, but it's understandable. <laughs> and to make a long story short, it's my little history lesson. I didn't get hassled coming into Toronto this morning. Without Canada, there would be no hearts. Without hearts, there would be no wrestling. And without wrestling, there would be no CM Punk. So even though I get my hand raised and I'm announced as the WWE Champion, I want you all to know, people of Toronto, I share this title. Which eat with each 